Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to switch your Microsoft account to a local account in Windows 10. So we did a video for this on Windows 11, so the process is pretty much the same, but we figured uh, we would do one for people who are still using Windows 10. So when you make this change, you don't need to worry about things like your documents or your desktop or your user profile changing because it's going to be using the same profile as just converting it to a Microsoft account. So this is different if you just added a local account as a separate account because then you'd have to transfer everything over and doing it this way you do not have to do it like that. So normally you log into Windows using a Microsoft account which is your Microsoft email and password and that way it's tied to OneDrive if you're using that or if you're syncing settings between computers but if you just want to have a local account that's not tied to Microsoft uh, you could do so without having to create a new account and transfer everything over. Okay, so how we're going to do it is go to the settings. So you can see this is a Microsoft account here, and it's also a standard account. This is not an admin account, so you don't need to be an administrator to do this. Okay, so we're going to go to accounts. And then under your account here, there's an option here that says sign in with a local account instead. So it says, are you sure you want to do this? You won't see personalized settings and so on. So you need to put in your existing PIN. Okay, now you could pick a name if you want. Let's give this a capital. And then a password to go along with this. This doesn't have to be the password for your Microsoft account, but you might want to make it the same. That way you don't have to uh, worry about two separate passwords. Okay, and then password hint, whatever you want it to be. I'll just put it in whatever. Okay, you're almost done. Make sure you save your work because it's going to sign you out and finish the switch. Okay, so this will be your same pin as you had before. So the pin is actually tied to the computer, not to your Microsoft account. So if you try and go to a different computer, you're not going to be able to use that same pin unless it was configured to use the same pin. All right, so now let's go to the settings here. Back to accounts. Now you can see it's a local account. And of course, if you want to switch back, all you need to do is click on sign in with a Microsoft account instead. So let's go back. Okay, you need your email address that goes with the Microsoft account. And the password for your Microsoft account. Okay, then you're going to need to know your current Windows password to actually go back. So if you made it the same, this should be a no-brainer. All right, let's put in our PIN, the same PIN we always used. You can see now we didn't have to log off and back on. It automatically converted it. And now you have the sign in with a local account option again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So once again, just sign in, go to accounts, click on the sign in with a local account instead link, choose a name and a password. And that's all there is to it. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.